Oh, that's not how that normally goes. It's a new year, we've had the new iPhone, and so that means it's time for a new beast cage. And these are not your average phone case daily drivers. So beast cage's goal is to basically turn your iPhone into a cinema camera, allowing you to rig all the essential accessories you need to have a pretty compelling piece of filmmaking gear. Super simple to use, all you do is pinch the clamp at the top and then pull back on this little guide, good amount of tension, and then uh, it kind of slides out the bottom like that. So you have two little pieces. You just throw your phone in there. It's padded on all the sides so you're not like scratching your phone up against the metal. Insert the bottom like that, clamp it down, and you have a perfectly fitted iPhone. What I love about this case compared to so many is the precision design to it and how it doesn't block any of the functionality of the phone. You're not blocking face ID sensors, the clickable buttons on the side actually have a good amount of click to them and they're not super mushy. And probably a crowd favorite is the bottom charging port is flush to the actual phone. And there's so many phone filmmaking cases out there where the charging port is recessed into uh, the case and so you can't get at it. On the sides, you basically have a bunch of quarter 20s. Over top of the camera module, they basically have a couple different uh, design options. Whoop. So it basically comes with a couple different plates that allow you to attach different lenses to it. And one thing I really like, of course, is if you go with B-Script lenses, this is actually their brand new Pro Series 1.7X telephoto lens that is coming soon. I'm gonna have a whole separate video on it. So this, of course, you're gonna put on one of your lenses. You basically just unscrew this on yourself to loosen. You put that in there. And depending what lens you wanna cover, either the uh, main wide or the telephoto, you can just change its orientation. I always use the 1X lens because that's the highest quality one. So not make it fall out. I'm just gonna tighten the red knob again. Now I've talked about the Beast Grip Pro a lot, which is their universal cage, which is very cool. If you use Android phones or phones that aren't, you know, listed to have a Beast cage, uh, it's, it's incredibly versatile. But one of the downsides is you have to make sure that it's perfectly lined up to the lens. And because this case is perfectly designed for this specific phone, as soon as I put that camera plate on the back, there is absolute zero gap or like misalignment to it. So I can attach the brand new telephoto lens. So now you can see that I'm on the one X lens, but we now have telephoto. So that actually, that looks really good right there. Uh, I was on photo before, but there we go. Now it's on video. So one thing I want to point out with, cause people ask is it actually comes with a moment lens compatible attachment. So a lot of you who own moment lenses can still buy this cage. Another cool attachment. I can actually, actually just take this whole thing of at once, that's kind of nifty, is I believe this is new, but they created a 58 millimeter uh, adapter. This is for if you don't want to use any external lenses, but you want to use their different filters. They have CPLs, they have NDs, um, or really anything that's 58 millimeter uh, filter. Screw it right on top there. And now you still have a nice flush setup, but now you can get like proper shutter speed uh, while using this ND filter or whatever. Hi, editor Michael here. I need to explain something better because I don't do it that well in the video. So they already had an adapter that allowed you to just hook up a filter to the uh, camera cage without any external lenses and stuff. But the downside was you were still using this plate where you could only have one of the lenses visible at a time. So if you switch between the ultra wide, the wide or a telephoto, you'd have to switch around the whole system. Whereas the new uh, adapter here will allow you to have full coverage of all three cameras. So you can just throw on uh, in ND and the app just switch between all your different cameras and not have to physically change anything. So that is a huge upgrade. All this stuff will be linked down in the description below. So now let's add some rigging to this to make, uh, make ourselves feel a little bit more legit. I mean, add functionality. All right, so they do offer a beast grip 15 millimeter rail system, which is pretty cool. This works with either the beast grip pro cage um, and this section is actually for the DOF adapter, which if you guys have seen is the crazy contraption that allows you to connect like 
an actual cine lens to your phone and you can kind of just hook up any matte boxes, lenses, whatever other accessories you want. So I'm gonna stick to the handles here, which all of the handles are the same, whether they're side handles or top handles. The differentiator is the mount. So you have this NATO rail attachment, which you can use on top here, but I'm not gonna attach that today. I'm gonna be all about side handles. So for that, you have these guys, which are labeled R and left. These you just screw in the bottom of the case. So now they have that, it will look like this sticking out of the side and you just take the handles in whichever orientation you want. A lot of times it makes sense to have them up like this so then the phone kind of feels on the same level as you, but you can swap them around since they're just NATO rails. Yeah, if you want to hold it higher or it's more comfortable just to go like this, you can also do this as well. The only thing I dislike about this setup is setting it down, you're putting it on like the lens or or whatever. But each one of these handles, whether you use it as a top mount or a side grip, uh, adds a bunch more quarter 20s, as well as dual hot shoes, three hot shoes on each one. So uh, you can rig a lot more accessories. Yeah, I like it this way because now when I go to put it down, it actually sits on the ground uh, without having to lay it on the lens or back on the phone or anything. And finally, we have audio. So again, we have a hot shoe right on the camera cage and I like it. It's got a little bit of like a grippy foot thing so it doesn't slide out super easily. And you just cable manage however you want. Again, you can plug something right flush into the bottom of the phone. And now you've got a pretty sweet setup. If you had a little like LED light that you wanted to add on, you know, do I have one? I haven't used these things in forever, but hey, we're building up a little rig, why not? Here's this super OG <laughs> Aperture M9 light that I could just slip on the handle here. You could have two of them, turn that on, boom! That's what I call a mobile filmmaking rig. Yeah, so this is pretty sweet. I mean, this is basically as good as it gets for filming on an iPhone. And again, the nice thing is, let's say I got a call right now and I just need to use my phone as an actual phone. I don't have to unscrew absolutely everything to break this down. Basically just unplug anything you have uh, plugged into the bottom of the phone, do the whole pinch thing, push on the back of the phone, and now it's out. You got your phone. Again, if you guys wanna see videos on this brand new telephoto lens, as well as I believe they have a new anamorphic lens coming out, you'll see this rig uh, actually in use. But for now, this was just a fun setup video to uh, show you guys how you can rig up your latest iPhone. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.